Okay, my mechanical beast of burden, it's time for the annual group photo. Now, I know my Celestron and Explorer scientific scopes don't like standing next to each other, but just pretend to be happy. And at the count of three, I want you to look up and smile. One, two, hello, folks! Hello, everyone. So that was a quick preview for anyone who's new to this channel to show you the four telescopes I use throughout the year. And... Believe it or not, I've actually used all four of them already in 2021, and these are some of the pictures I captured with them. So I just wanted to show you guys that, and for any longtime subscriber, I know my videos seem a lot different this year than in years past. In the past, I used to show you my imaging session, I would show you my guiding results, and I would make a YouTube video for every single object I captured, but at the rate I'm capturing new objects this year, there's, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. There's just, there's just too much going on right now. I, I wish I could, but maybe if I ever slow down again, I'll, I'll start making those kind of YouTube videos again. But when I capture two objects last week, three the week before that, and three new ones to show you this week, um, I'll burn out pretty quickly, like I did last year, midway through the year, and I don't want that to happen, so I'm kind of grouping a lot of captures together now. And let me show you the three new ones I have now. Okay, so this is the first of three objects I want to show you that I captured, and the second one I'm going to show you might be the luckiest thing I ever captured. I still can't believe what happened. But, but this one is actually called the Medusa Nebula. It's a planetary nebula around 1500 light years from Earth, and I captured it with my Explorer Scientific Telescope, and I love the colors in this one. The only problem I had with this one is that when I started capturing it, it was already past the meridian. I didn't have a lot of time, so I only captured around eight hours, but I would have loved to have gone 20 hours on this one and capture a, a bunch of extra nebulosity, maybe around this area here. But it, it, it was a really cool target to capture, if only I had more time. Okay, this second picture I wanted to show you was captured with my Celestron Rasa 8-inch scope for a nice wide field view. And my goal was to capture M105, this galaxy right here. And I knew if I captured it, I'd be able to capture a bunch of other galaxies. This one here, this one, and this is M96 down here. What I didn't know is that M95 was lurking in the corner. I could not believe this when I stacked the image. That's why I call this one of the luckiest pictures I ever captured. Um, when, I'm, when I was looking at my, my 30 second exposures, I had no idea there was another galaxy lurking in the corner. And I would have felt so bad if I had cut it off halfway through there or truncated it some other way. But I, I was lucky I captured the whole thing. That, that's just dumb luck. And the thing is, when I centered my telescope, all I saw in my plate solving, this red target here, um, was right here. This is how I centered my telescope to capture these galaxies in the middle. I never looked up close. You can see the red box got truncated, and I never bothered to see what was up there. So that, I just think, what a lucky shot that was. And I think that the, the picture came out really cool, even though, once again, I, I have to darken the image, the background, more than I want to. There's just um, a, a lot of issues with my light pollution that I'm trying to mask by making the, the background a little darker. But the, the galaxies came through nice and bright, so I'm really happy with this picture. Okay, let me show you the next one. Okay, here's the third picture that I captured, and we've got the majestic M81 galaxy. This is Bode's galaxy. We've got M82 down here, the cigar galaxy. And I'm glad I captured this one, too. It's called the Garland galaxy. I'm not sure how that one got its name, but I really like how this picture came out. Now, if you could capture this in dark skies, you'd be able to actually see a lot of gas and dust floating around here. I'm not really able to pull that out in my area because of light pollution, but it's a really cool effect if you can get that. And something about this picture, it really does bring back memories for me because these are actually the very first galaxies I captured about five years ago in July of 2016. And let me show you what I captured back then. Here is M81 and that is M82. 
the very first time I captured galaxies and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. I was showing everybody what I captured. I was really proud of this. <laughs> and, and let's do a little comparison here. And yeah, and so there's M81 here compared with that M81. So there's a little improvement going on there. Um, but it, not too bad for a, a beginner like me back then. So that's all I got, folks. And... Uh, I will see you later. It's a planetary nebula. I don't know if I already told you that. So, I'm not going to swear. This is M96, I think. I just looked at this in Stellarium and I already forgot. What I didn't know is that M94... No, I think this is M95. I can't believe this.